Hey guys, I thought I'd show you a video of a little project I've been working on. I had this lawnmower laying around in the garage and next to it was this air compressor. And I looked at it and said, geez, that's a motor. And it's a nice Briggs & Stratton motor on this uh, Craftsman lawnmower. Why not set that up and run a compressor and have air for my truck project here? So that's what I did. And have this little inverter. Oh, this isn't it's just sitting on the seat here for demonstration. You take a grinder that's hooked up to power and there you go, you got power. And also we have a uh, little air torque wrench hooked up and from a, a lawnmower we have power and air. So what I did, as you can see, I took this Briggs & Stratton motor you can see the silver base, that's the hole that was in this lawnmower. And then inside it, it had a pulley that ran the rear wheels of the lawnmower. So that pulley is uh, going to this alternator mounted upside down and to a your compressor I have set up. So um, let me just give you a little demonstration, show you how all this here works. So when you work the uh, lawnmower, you know, we have to pull the lever so that's here, and you just, I'm just have a little wire to hold that in place. You go to turn it off, you just remove that. You just fire it up. So inside we have two batteries that are back behind the uh, setup here and that's what the alternator is running to to store uh, juice in the two batteries which then hooks up to our inverter there. So let me also show you the air compressor. So the air compressor, York, you can see in the back and this is the output for it. This is a pressure switch so that when the, when the air is coming this way it's not returning back to the um, the motor and the uh, compressor, so it's not starting under a load. Uh, this is just a simple gauge, and this line is going to a tank. And here's our pressure switch, which just turns the clutch on and off. So let's fire up the, uh, the motor again, and we'll show you the air. So again, we put our latch. Hold that in place. Fire it up again. because what's happening is this mounting position is not the best it's normally recommended it's at a vertical but I couldn't do that for the sake of space you can see this as this tray goes in it's it's uh, mounted in a way that it becomes completely enclosed there so that's completely uh, enclosed within the truck and let me show you the uh, other side where the the air is all right guys here's our tank this is mounted up underneath the truck on the other side and you can see there's a gauge there check valve the line coming from the compressor and the other line going to our uh, air tools so that's it um, let me show you again the the setup so there we have it guys we have old lawnmower and that is giving us power and compressed air so anyway hope you guys liked the video and um 
if you have any uh, thoughts, ideas, suggestions, you know, open for it. Um, there's some other people doing these things as well, but I haven't seen any of the off-road community uh, really doing this. So thought it would be cool. And um, keep looking for more updates on this truck. We're going to keep at it. All right, guys.